Okay, we're gonna do my five year review of my Chinese diesel heater. I'll run you through uh, problems I had in the past, well, I've been, this is in the fifth year. It's been running four years. So I'll show you how I set it up, where I set it up and everything. So I'll bring you over. Okay, I installed it here. Uh, it was a, like a metal desk. Return, return, say, say. This is a metal desk. So I installed it inside. And I use that as a uh, kind of a workbench. And I put it on, because uh, the, the way exhaust comes out of the bottom, I lifted it up on some uh, two by fours, just cut. So I made my exhaust right here. What it is is a two piece of pipe, one on the inside and then a larger one on the outside. And in between here is uh, insulated with rock saw, rock wool, whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically uh, blowing lava rock. And I weld it with a spacer, a washer on this end and a washer on the other end. And I did weld it just to make sure everything was sealed. I turned around and I put the uh, high heat JB weld. Goes through my door, I'll show you on the other side. There's another piece of uh, metal on here. I drilled a uh, four inch hole and also around the door is the uh, rock saw, rock wool. My inlet's basically here. The outlet goes through there and then through the thing on the side. You can take a look on the side. It just comes out there. My diesel tank is mounted to the wall here and I use an electric pump. I put my container here electric pump to pump into there because it's too awkward to get into there. I'll show you what I use over here. The diesel would be here, the pump would be here. You just tip the top, you go in and the hoses, I add a little piece of uh, silicone hose to the end of it to reach the tank. And it goes in there, so I'm not reaching all the way over to fill it up. It's filled up with this. Anyway, I'll put a link to the, actually the diesel heater and this in the script. And right now I'm set at four kilowatts. That. That's a controller. So I set my controller here. It's all wired. It had the remote with it. And you can use temperature, but I tend to go with the uh, kilowatt, uh, which is basically, I'll put a chart to show you what one kilowatt in BTUs is, which uh, one kilowatt equals 3,412 BTUs. And the lowest I ever put this, let's say at nighttime, I'll put it on two kilowatts. It goes as low as 1.8, but I put it at two, and if it's minus 20 outside, I'll leave it run all night. And I've been doing this for four years now, going on five. It's never given me one ounce of problem. As a reference, uh, kilowatts and BTUs. Uh, two kilowatts, which I'm running, is uh, a little hotter than a 15, uh, 1500 watt space heater. There are little things you plug in, ceramic heaters, whatever. So 1500 watt space heater, gives you 5,118 BTUs. Two kilowatts, which I run this at night, let's say if it's minus 20, gives me 6,824 BTUs. And I, a lot of people keep saying, oh, the thing just sits uh, diesel. It doesn't take much at all. But actually, it takes as much as, as much heat as you want out of it. Uh, if you set it at two, you're gonna get a long time. If you set it on five, it's or some eight kilowatts also you'll get a lot less use on it. So I worked it out instead of going through the time and saying oh, this is how long it took and measuring my tank. I just went straight to the math. One liter of diesel. Now, okay, if you're from the US, just under four liters of diesel equals one gallon. One US gallon. 4.55 Canadian gallons, but okay, just four liters equals one US gallon. So one liter of diesel has the stored energy of 36,500 BTUs. So that's as, that's approximate. Uh, there's diesel one, diesel two, but depends which one you use and how they mix it. But roughly as much energy you're gonna get out of it is 30, 36,500 BTUs out of one liter of diesel. I run this at two kilowatts at night. If it's minus 20 out, if it's Usually if it's around to zero, I don't even turn it on. I don't try to keep my garage hot. I just try to keep it above zero, above freezing, which is 32 Fahrenheit. Uh, so if you look at it, running two kilowatts, I'll go through one liter of fuel in five hours and 15 minutes. Cold, like you mentioned above, above zero or? Uh... It does, when I set it at two kilowatts, it doesn't care how cold it is outside. It's going to produce a certain amount of BTUs. Five hours. Which is... 6,824 BTUs, regardless of what the temperature is outside. In the winter time, minus 15, minus 20 outside, I'm going through 
one liter every five and change hours. And if I bump that up, obviously if you do the math, you're gonna get less time. So does it sip fuel, barely touch any? No, it gives you the energy that diesel stores. And if you want more heat, you're gonna go through more diesel. I'll take you outside now and show you the uh, exhaust setup, how it comes in, how the air intake. Uh, my main goal was I didn't want open combustion in the garage, just in case something leaks, which here I've got the inlet and exhaust outside the garage. Before we go outside, I run a, uh, a deep cycle battery I have for my camper, which it's kind of down there. And I just leave a uh, charger, automatic charger on the battery all the time. I used to have solar panels. That's uh, another video on itself. Uh, you know, those cheap solar panels, they, they sell, they used to sell Canadian Tire. Uh, Harbor Freight used to sell, I don't know if they still do the same ones. Well, they don't last very long. If you leave them in the sun, because the solar panels were supposed to be, yeah, they, the plastic and it just, they're on the side, I'll make a whole separate video. They're just garbage. Anyway, so we'll go outside and see the uh, exhaust. So if you look at the exhaust, exhaust coming here, like say the double pipe, weld it with a washer and JB weld, and like say the insulation around here and that bolted here with uh, high temperature silicone, so I get no leaks inside the door, inside the garage. This door doesn't open, it's just fake, just for show. And then my air intake for the combustion is out here also, just through the door. And it's been sitting here going on five years now and it's given me actually zero problems. We'll go back inside. More Which one's cheaper? Yeah, I know what you're saying. I'm just trying to think why I went this way. I originally went with a Chinese diesel heater. Basically, I do have a Jeep that has a diesel and I was thinking of putting one in there. And with all the hype when they were coming out a few years back, I just want to try one. They were inexpensive. Uh, they used to be Vasco, whatever name, brand name. Once the uh, patent ran out, the design was copied and it was able to be shipped into North America because the patent ran out and that's where everybody's buying them and they were going really cheap. Instead of paying 1200 back then, I think I paid uh, 160, 170 for this one uh, five years ago. Uh, they're gone up a bit more. They're roughly around 200. And with the price of everything going up, they may go up even more. I have no idea. Would I do it again? It works. It was the cheapest way to actually get heat cost-wise. Uh, electric is too expensive. And these type of heaters down here, they're great to get the temperature up. I have no recommendation on, am I recommending anybody to do it? I'm just tell, showing people what I did. I hold no responsibility for anybody burning the garage or in our house down. If you want to try it, go ahead. This is what I do. Uh, one thing I do is if it's running all night at two, uh, two kilowatts, which is uh, 6,824 BTUs, and I'm going to shut her down, the following day I'll bring it up. It will go as high as 5.5, and I'll run it at 5.5 to clean out the burn chamber uh, for about 15 minutes. Then I'll shut it down. I won't shut it down at two kilowatts after it's ran all. It's after it's run 16, 17 hours. It always goes up to maximum, 15 minutes. Then I shut it down, and it cleans everything up. So I've never taken it apart. I never had to clean it. Nothing. And I run it, I used to run it at 1.8, which is the lowest I could go. But I start noticing a bit of smoking when I brought it up and it was throwing some black stuff out. Never had to take it apart, but I would see in the, the snow off the exhaust. And if I leave it at two, I don't see nothing. Never had a problem, never seen any. If I got work to do in here and uh, I haven't had this heater on and all of a sudden it get cold overnight, I have another video of what I tried over the years. Anyway, to bring it up to temperature really quick, I just throw one of these on 75,000 BTU and I pick up another one, which I'm going to service next. This I, one is a dumpster diving. <laughs> yeah, that, that one uh, they were throwing out, he, he throwing out down the road. I'm, my next video, which I'm doing right after this, yeah. is getting this, getting this one running. That's my five-year review on my Chinese diesel heater. Anyway, if you liked the video, appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell. Bye for now.